Hi everyone. Today I am going to talk about my mega fave number. This is a project started by James Grime on YouTube, and uh, in which we all are talking about our favorite number greater than one million. So let's start. Mine is three five seven eight five nine six eight three nine seven. This is. Well, you can see closely. Thirty-five billion seven hundred eighty-five million nine hundred sixty-eight thousand three hundred and ninety-seven. So, what is special about this number? Well, uh, as we do with all numbers, let's start by factorizing it into prime numbers. So, if you use a calculator or a computer code, you will find that it factorizes into sixteen thousand eight hundred and forty-three and two million one hundred and twenty-four thousand. Six hundred and seventy-nine. Now these two numbers, these two prime factors. These are the only two prime factors of this number. These are very special. These are known as the Wollstone-Home primes. Now Wollstone-Home, you might have heard the name. He is the same person who proved the Wollstone-Home theorem, which states that for any prime greater than three, the binomial coefficient two p minus one, c p minus one, is always congruent to one. Mod p raised to the power three. Now this is known as the Wollstone-Home theorem. Now uh, this holds for any prime greater than three, and he already proved it. But what's special about Wollstone-Home primes is that he made a stronger version of this theorem and stated that for the binomial coefficient two p minus one c p minus one, this will be congruent to one mod p raised to the power four. Instead of the exponent three, he put an exponent four, which is a stronger version. And then any prime greater than seven, which satisfies this criteria, is known as a Wollstone-Home prime. Now, amazingly, there are only two known primes up till now, and these are the Wollstone-Home primes up till now. It's the greatest unsolved mystery that whether more primes exist or not. This was proved in 1993. After that, there is no new prime found. And just one last amazing property of these numbers is that, well, <clears throat> if you take the p minus one harmonic number, that is one plus one by two, and so on, till one by p minus one, and then you express this as a fraction in its lowest form, that means the numerator of the fraction in this lowest form will always be divisible by p raised to the power three. That is one more special property of the Wollstone-Home primes. So, uh, I mean, in simpler terms, the h sixteen thousand eight hundred forty-three minus one, the numerator of this harmonic number will always be divisible by sixteen thousand eight hundred forty-three cube. So, these are my mega numbers. So, thank you for watching.